me again. This is probably going to be edited and choppy just like my other ones and I'm really sorry. Good morning everyone. It's day eight for me. I have the day off today. I woke up early when my husband got up for work, which is a very, very, very rare occurrence. But I knew if I fell back asleep, I would be asleep until like 10.30 and waste away the day. So I'm going for my couch to 5K right now at 7-Eleven in the morning. I just asked Alexa and she said that it's 55 degrees outside. Alexa, what's the high for today? Today, expect a high of 82 degrees Fahrenheit. If I'd have slept in, that's what I'd have been running in. Okay, I'm back home. I did 1.75 miles today. So it was 0.15 more than my husband and I did on Saturday. I did one more lap around and I found out the path is 0.52 miles. So at least six laps around that will be my 5K. Look what just came in the mail. I'm so excited. This pattern I've been waiting for four months. I seen uh, Itty Bitty Britney, Itty Bitty Britney, uh, Britney May. I, I don't know her last name now. She just got married last month, but she had one and I was like, I need one of those. And then I started following them on Instagram and I seen that purple design come out and it's like, yeah, I gotta do it. My mom got one too. She just got the, like a half gallon size. Ooh. She got a half gallon and she just got the black on black. So that's hers. So if you guys want 15% off, type in GG15 for 15% off. This is coming with me tomorrow to physical therapy. And I'm so happy. This phone pocket doesn't work very well though. I'm kind of disappointed, but we'll see how I like it as it goes on. So I thought I would show you guys, I decided very early on when I started Optavia that I would have a binder to, oh, don't mind the coffee on the counter, I would have a binder to hold all of my stuff together. So I found this really cute gold digger one on sale after school started back in September, end of September. Um, and then obviously these were added on afterwards. I recently just added this and put it in the front. It's the Optavia vegetable conversion chart. I had seen that you're really supposed to weigh in ounces on a scale your vegetables instead of just like in a half a cup. So I bought this food scale off of Amazon. So I decided to put the vegetables at the front because I use them a lot. What I usually do, which I need to start doing again when I first started Optavia, is when we got home from the store, I would wash my vegetables, I would measure out all of my vegetables, and put one serving of vegetables into a Ziploc baggie. So every night, I wanted to be lazy, I could just cook my meat, and I could grab out three bags of vegetables from the fridge, and that was my lean and green. And that helped a lot, but I've just been too lazy. So that's Optivia's. This I started, I made this myself too on uh, Excel to track my weight loss. So together since I started Optivia, lost the weight, gained the weight back, what I've lost now in a collective is 26 and a half pounds. So I'm back to this line here. But honestly, this chart took so much time to fill in. I just don't feel like redoing it. I might finish it to the 50. I might do another one depending on how I feel. But I remember sitting at the table just like dreading like, oh, I lost seven pounds this week. I gotta fill in a bunch of these lines. So anyways, moving on. This is the condiment list you will find on Optavia to print out. I went through and I underlined things that I thought was important and then I starred things that I use like the onion powder, sorry that noise is my garlic powder, my elbow on the counter, steak sauce, vinegar, balsamic, I use that for my salads, almond milk I was using for my cereal at the time that comes in my first, came in my first box, I did not like it. This is your healthy fats list. 
when you eat a leaner or a leanest you have a leaner gets one healthy fat and a leanest gets two healthy fat so this is the list of things I have done olives I never used to like olives but after I started this I kind of have started to but my choice is pistachios but they have this entire list all of the salad dressings are on the healthy fat list so if you want a salad with just balsamic vinegar, you could do that as a condiment, but all of your your oil, your olive oil, that wasn't olives. I am losing it. This is the oil list, and that was for olive oil. But yeah, I have started eating olives too, if I have them, but I don't go searching for them. And then this was from our your quick start guide. I think mine's at work, but this, um, they have it online, so I printed the page with the meat choices, uh, leanest, leaner, and lean, and then I printed the page of all the different vegetables, so I can just flip in here and look, and this is the optional snacks list here. Usually, I will do up to three pieces of sugar-free gum or mints or I will have a fruit flavored sugar free popsicle. And then this was the original vegetable list that I found. I'll probably end up taking this out since it's not Optivia's. It was just one that someone had posted in a group. And then at the back here I have recipes that I've tried. So this cheesy cauliflower skillet. I really like the meatballs and spaghetti squash. I'm very surprised I haven't made them since I started last week. Crock pot chicken taco soup. I like this one. My problem with it is the cheese that you put in it always sticks to my spoon and it annoys me. This is why I had the olives, the supreme cauliflower pizza bites. The first time I made this I accidentally messed up and I forgot that the shredded mozzarella cheese has to be divided and I put all of the cheese into the crust. Learned my lesson. These bacon cheeseburger bites, these were good, but a lot of the times when I make these meals, my husband won't eat them. Like, he will, but sometimes he won't. I don't know, it's random. But I made these, and they are not, they're good at first, but heating them up, like the cheese just kind of melts off of them, and I felt like I had to take the pick out with the, the pickle and everything, so... I think if I make these again, I might just make like one serving or two servings if he wants to eat it too. This manicotti, I was so disappointed. I, my grandma used to go to the hospital and to the ER a lot and one of the larger hospitals that she would go to had manicotti. Granted, it was regular manicotti, but I, it was the only place I've ever had it and it was so good. And I was like, oh my gosh, spinach like zucchini spinach manicotti I have to try that I even went and bought a mandolin for it I was so disappointed it was so gross but I've left it in here just to try it maybe one more time and if I don't like it again it's going in the garbage Mongolian beef over cauliflower rice you guys seen that's what I ate last week laughing cow stuffed chicken that's in a video that you guys will see I'm really sorry these videos are not coming through or like I'm not doing them very quickly and this is what I'm making tonight the Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers so these it makes four servings and you get an entire pepper so you get two halves so this would be a full serving and it has the green pepper onion garlic broth baby bella mushrooms roast beef cream cheese and provolone cheese so that's what I'm making tonight. In the back here I just have extra things for more recipes. And then there's this thing I wrote when I first started about to take measurements and take pictures and drink an extra glass of water. Just random stuff I had found and wrote down. So that is my binder. Oh and then yeah, this these are just my my markers that I used for my my chart here so there it is so here's everything cut up I have learned to do this ahead of time I used to try to do it as I was making the recipe like I do other things but as you can see 
it is a lot this is an entire pound of roast beef six ounces of mushroom a third cup onions and then four peppers i use already minced garlic so i didn't have to do that and i um just have to get the beef broth and put it in the pan here it is all cooked up before it goes into the peppers here they are ready to go in the oven you put cheese on the underside and then the mixture and then the cheese on the top and here they are out of the oven still sizzling you get to have two of these for a full leaning green 